Alright, zoom, zoom, zoom off the Mothrak. Kill the giant pterodactyl. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh, okay, whoa. Eh, drive slack. Zoom. Yeah, down this way. Up here, first of all, we have to light three torches. Get Mothrak to come out. There's the three torches. Just show you the mission here. Like Moth to the Flame, over in the bare arid badlands just east of the Shine Gravel Processor, people have been disappearing in the night. Some say they're being carried away by a monster rack. One of the locals called Mothrak. She, she, oh, it's a she. Okay, she seems to be attracted to fire, and that's how we're going to lure her out. Like the three, th three torches I've set up, and when she shows up, you take her down. Can do. Mothrak has got a colossal number of hit points, so this could take a few minutes. So I'm going to hand the uh, microphone on over to MC Dubslack while this is going on. All right, MC Dubslack, what do you got to say for yourself? What do I got to say for myself? Yeah, how y'all doing? MC Dub Slack here. Uh, let's get back to the most frequently asked question as of late, and that is, what do I think of the Far Cry 3 trailer? Now, um, before I answer that, <laughs> let's keep you all in a little bit of suspense, just a little bit longer. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, Far Cry 2 was my favorite game of all time. Uh, what am I saying? Was, is my favorite game of all time. I've done a complete walkthrough of it, and um, twice in fact I did a walkthrough of it on normal difficulty, and I did another playthrough of it on uh, infamous difficulty, the highest difficulty setting in the game. So that's how much I like the game. I did two walkthroughs of it. Uh, only game that I ever did that for. Yeah, I love this game. The reasons why I love this game is because, uh, for one, it's very real. The realism, realism is fantastic. The graphics are fantastic, just spectacular. Especially if you have a good rig that can run it on the highest settings. Um, the open world aspect is fantastic. Uh, they give you a gun, they stick you in the middle of Africa, and away you go. Uh, the best aspect I like about this game is the fact that there's no HUD. I love the HUDless view. Um, there's just none to speak of. You, you're just in there, and there's none of this, like, you know, uh, your health or, you know, like, nothing get, gets in the way. You're just right in there in Africa, looking at the grass, looking at the animals, uh, shooting down mercenaries with an assortment of weapons. Uh, I love that. That's the best aspect about this game. Now, take a look at the new Far Cry 3 trailer. Um, a lot of things I see I like already. Uh, the graphics are great. The storyline is fantastic. This new character boss looks mean as all fuck. Um, looks like it's going to provide a great storyline. Um, you know, the scene where you can shoot around corners and, and whatnot it looks great. Um, it all looks it all looks great except for one thing, um, and that is um, what's with this point system. Uh, I was watching the trailer. And I see when you shoot down an enemy, you get like, what, 10 points? And all of a sudden that goes flashing across the screen. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you doing to my beloved Far Cry game here at Ubisoft? Um, you're putting back in a HUD. You're putting in a heads up display. Like, what happened to the completely HUDless view? I swear, if you take this game and you turn it into some kind of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 clone, I will freaking have a litter of kittens, okay? I, Major Slack, will go down to your office, and I live in Montreal, Quebec, okay? So I'm going to go down to your office, sit on your front doorstep, and have a freaking litter of kittens. In fact, I'm going to have a preemptive litter of kittens right now. <laughs> there you go. So if that happens, if you screw up this game, that's what's going to happen, seriously. Because this was a great game. It is a great game. If you screw it up by throwing back in ahead and having all these points flash across the screen and whatever, I also see like a hit indicator is a lot more prominent. It's just you're putting back in ahead. Don't do that, Ubisoft. This is a great game. It's a great formula. I know a lot of people misunderstood this game, but it's still a great game. It was way ahead of its time. If you put back in ahead in Far Cry 3, I will freak out. Literally. Yeah, I mean, this game is my favorite game of all time, and I will freak out if you screw it up, okay? That's <laughs> what I have to say about Far Cry 3. 
If I had to sum up the Far Cry 3 trailer in one word, that one word would be suspicious. And that's what I think of Far Cry 3. Back to you, live Slack. Alright, Mothrak is dead. Thank you, MC Dub Slack. Uh, yeah, back to live Slack. Uh, where is this... There he is. This thing. <laughs> when, it, when you take it down, it drops its goodies all over the countryside. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, yum yum. Yeah, as you can see, I used a combination of uh, my rapid fire PPC sniper rifle, the glorious havoc, which I've s discovered is actually excellent on racks, including moth rack, and um, Bloodwing, whom I believe actually took him down. <laughs> so Bloodwing is effective on this guy, but don't use any elemental damage except explosive damage. I think it's the only one that's really effective on moth rack. All other elemental damage I think Mothrak is immune to. If I'm not mistaken. And that's that. Um, next. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those green in that one orange sticking out like a sore thumb. Let's go do it. Yeah, let's go take care of this Claptrap rescue mission I left behind in Crom's Canyon. I feel bad about that. Like I said, it's a bad mark under my record. Uh, yeah, let's go do that right now. I'm just going to do a little speed run right in there and see if we can grab the rescue kit, give the claptrap, and speed run out. Whee! <laughs> Get some air. All right. Okay, so I'm going to call it a run here. Um, we're going to save the game as soon as we hit one of those uh, outpost thingies. And uh, yeah, and then uh, join me next time when I take on uh, Crom's Canyon again for a quick speed run in to get Claptrap's rescue kit and redeem the old Slaxer. Thank you all very much for watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're watching this on the Mission of a Respawn Army thing, don't forget to, blah, 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 don't forget to give me a bump up. All right, that's it for now. Uh, slack out.